So now I'd like to show you that built into our 3DCS plugin with RTT, under rendering are all of our spec studies. This, we can check these off, and this is what we'll export out into our flash file within our, our exported out of RTT. Again, all of our camera view, views are preset up. All we would have to do is select the views that we would want. Under red, render settings, we get a quick little dialog box that just shows us this will be exported out of as a flash file, our export folder, and the base name. You have some options for quality of the rendering itself. I'd recommend that you do a fairly low quality to start with just to make sure that everything looks right and then you can export out a, a far better quality. And the camera will rotate around the vehicle, which I'll show you within the flash file. Now once we export out our flash file, This is what we'll get. So we have all of our spec studies that exported out and all of our camera views. Again, this is not using RTT to view the flash. This is not using 3DCS Multicad to view the flash. This is an exported SWS flash file that can then be emailed to whether it be management or another engineer to be able to view your spec studies in ultra-high resolution images. So if I go through, we'll watch the hood change. And again, all of our spec studies are now viewed within the flash file. We have the ability to roll around the, the hood and also zoom in. One thing to remember when zooming in these are images, so the farther that we do zoom in, you will lose some quality, but it does give you the ability to be able to look at those a little bit closer. And those are geometry deformation, not just movements, right? Correct. So the hood, when we're seeing different placements for it, for the spec studies, um, they're not just moving the hood up or down, increasing those gaps. The actual geometry is deformed, so the hood itself is being deformed. For example, the the smile and uh, the wink that you saw was actual deformation of the hood. Correct. So you can test out a number of different tolerance situations, not just moving the hood around. And all of those, of course, come in here as toggleable uh, scenarios. Now this, this is the, the flash presentation, so I don't need 3DCS or Delta Gen or anything to, to use this. Right, exactly. So this is easy to share. And can you easy to share? The nice thing is, too, that nobody can edit your spec study, of course, within a flash file. This is a read-only file, but they have the ability to be able to see your spec studies, comment on them, for then the engineer to go back and whether it be edit a spec study or build a new spec study.